tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Let me hear you say. Oh shit again, hype now. Tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Let me hear you say. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Cass here, and we are here to deep dive into the Tennessee Titans' sixth round pick. That being defensive back out of the University of Tennessee, Theo Jackson. So, we're going to go through Theo's career overlight from the official University of Tennessee webpage. Then we're going to go through his college statistics and how he fits into this great Tennessee Titans defense. So, let's go. The veteran defensive back out of Nashville, who provided tremendous leadership in five seasons, can play nickel, corner, and safety, and was one of the nation's best defensive backs in his final season, playing 56 games and made 24 starts, held 190 career tackles, 12 tackles for a loss and five interceptions, one pick six, and 20 passes defended. Member of the team's leadership council graduated from Tennessee in December of 2021. So if we look at this, who does, this does not have the interceptions right because we clearly just saw, heard that he has five. This is clearly not right interceptions wise, but so and we're, so we're just gonna go off the tackles and the tackles for loss. So he did not really play up to par his twenty seventeen through twenty twenty season, his typical four year route. So if it's just these four years, Theo probably doesn't get drafted. But it's that final 2021 season that lets a coach or an owner or a GM think, maybe this guy's got something. Because he had never before told him to over 50 tackles into his 21, 21 campaign. He had never gotten more than one tackle for a loss in an entire season until 2021. So. In 2021, Theo Jackson played all 12 games, had 78 tackles, nine tackles for a loss, a sack and a half, a pick six, and played special teams, and had 11 passes deflected as the starting free safety for the Tennessee Volts. All right, guys, this is an analytic showing how many people that watch my videos that aren't subscribed. So if y'all could do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. It's free if you can unsubscribe later if you don't like the content. But back into our Reds scheduled Tennessee Titans breakdown. So we're going to break down how he fits into this Tennessee Titans defense. And this is what I think is interesting because there's so many defensive backs. But the problem is, is yeah, there's so many defensive backs but there's not a lot of free safeties. See, they have Theo listed as a defensive back, as a corner. He's not, I mean, as a strong safety. He's not going to play strong safety in the league. He's, too, he's, not, he's not good enough in run defense. Even though with the 11 tackles for loss, he's not good enough in run defense. But he's going to play his free safety behind another Nashville native in Kevin Byard. Kevin Byard has really, and this is what I think is going to help Theo a lot too, Kevin Byard's really taken a liking so far in OTAs from what I've seen to Theo Jackson. And if he decides to take the time and help under that learning tree of possibly one of the best safeties in the last 10 years in Kevin Byard, then that's really going to help Theo Jackson a lot. Because a lot what you see of Theo that you saw of Kevin, Kevin was much more of a ball hawk in college, had a lot more interceptions than Theo, but also was coming from a smaller school. Theo played in the SEC. You got to think about this. Theo played in the SEC, playing against SEC running backs and racked up nine tackles for a loss. That's defensive lineman numbers in the SEC. That's insane. I'm not saying he is smaller. He's only, if I look at this again, I think he's 200 pounds, 203 pounds. He's only six foot two. Six foot two, 203. He's not going to play in the box on the next level. But he has the ability to maybe do that. Because he's playing in the SEC against bigger backs, 220, 230. Uh, I know James Cook is smaller. He's like 180, 190 for Georgia. But that's the only SEC back I can think about that's not a bigger guy. Like, 
So, and, and what I really think is going to help him make the team is the lack of safety depth. You have a Rodney Clemens, you have a Michael Griffin, but you don't really have a lot of safety depth. Like, if you look at Michael Griffin here, out of Texas, I don't think he's meant to be on the roster. Hold up. Let me make sure. So, yeah, he's retired. I don't understand. So, yeah, he's not even on the active roster right now. So, there's really no backup free safety for Kevin Byard. You have a Theo Jackson who could be that backup free safety. I know you got A.G. Moore and Ronnie Clemens. Ronnie Clemens really hasn't done nothing in the league. He's 25. He's a younger guy, too, only one season. Then you've got a guy like, like an A.J. Moore, who I believe also hasn't been around that long. He's coming from Houston. He played some good things in Houston, mostly as a special team guy. And then you got you got guys like, that's basically it for safety. You got Amani and Kevin, who are going to be the starters. You have A.J. Moore, Rodney Clemens, and Theo Jackson. Michael Griffin really even should be on this list, like I've said. So you've got those guys. you got Shereen Carter, who's basically a safety coming out of the University of Alabama. Yeah, they've got him listed as a safety actually on here. He's going to play safety in league, more likely a strong safety. Chris Jackson's out of Marshall. He's a corner. Buster Screen's a corner. Chris Williams might be a, Yeah, Chris Williams is a corner, formerly out of Minnesota. So there's not a lot of safety depth on this team, and that's where I really think it's going to be easy for Theo Jackson to possibly not get cut at the end of training camp and possibly make this football team. And I think the liking that it's came from Kevin Byard is really going to help him out. For Kevin having that max leadership that he does, really stacking up some massive, massive career numbers. Now, he has to be top with some interceptions recently. I'm going to actually look that up once we get out of here because KB has played really good for a long time. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. On defensive back out of the University of Tennessee. Theo Jackson. If you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you leave the like button. If you really liked it. Subscribe. But above all else. The most important thing I want y'all to do. that while, Who are watching this video. That made it all the way to the end. Is to remember to drop your personal recommendation for the Tennessee Titans breakdown down in the comments. That's really what helps this this series the most is dropping your personal opinions on players you would like to see broken down. And I will get right to them. Also, new addition, if you would like to see any player that was formerly on the Tennessee Titans, if you would like to know where they are now, drop that down below too because that series is coming very soon with the very first episode being where is defensive back Cortland Finnegan. This has been your boy Cass. If you really liked it, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode of the Tennessee Titans Breakdown. Bye, guys. Tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Let me hear you say it. Oh, shit again, hype now. Tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Let me hear you say it.